me. They were over here like, I don't know, like this. They were just risen me up in this. Side. They, but you said they were cussing you out until you to like sit on the floor and I mean, shit. That's the price you got to pay for riding spirit. You have to pay the price. Like, if you well, can't pay the money, you're going to pay it in I'm... mental health. But you said the pilot. You said the pilot came on there, and the pilot was like, oh, "That's my first time flying, guys. Y'all trust said, all right, me, guys." You know, he tried to joke around. He said, all right, guys. Hopefully, you guys know how to fly if I take it down. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What? So you still, so you still, so you still sat down, and buckled your seatbelt. I got comfortable, bro. And my Paul neck said pillow, his goodbyes and everything. Reading. He said his goodbyes and everything before he left, bro. That's what I'm saying. For some reason, he saw reading that fucking obituary he was writing. Ain't no way. What? I do it every single time I fly somewhere. Like I always, no I have way. never not flown Spirit. Really? Always? Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Even as a kid? My whole life. I've never been on any plane other than Spirit. So wow. Me and, me and my demons are like well acclimated. Yeah, I say y'all, y'all like homies a little bit. Exactly. Uh, but that last flight, that was the closest I ever came to dying on a plane. That nigga did not know what he was doing. What? Bro. Bro, y'all, Paula got off the I plane. Told he he was, was, I told y'all I saw, like, Antarctica. I wasn't yeah. joking. <laughs> That's what you said. He said you off the plane. The first thing he told us, he got into the car. He's like, bro, we saw Antarctica. I said, nigga, how the fuck did you see that I was that not shit? joking. I was like, wait, so Antarctica's, like, right next to New York, right? Because I, I definitely saw, like, an Iceland. Nah. What do you yeah, mean? Dude. But, like, he, he went a, I don't, a different route. I ain't never seen that route before. Nah, you're fried. I ain't gonna hold you. Ain't no way you just saw a hole. Nah, because even the, even the kid was like, snow. I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not bugging then. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what, what way did he go to where we saw Alaska? Like, we had to be coming from like behind New York. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was doing. Uh, please do not fly Spirit again. It might be your last time. Next time you fly that shit, ain't gonna hold you. Your luck is running out. I'd rather, I'd want to die on a plane though. What are you talking what? about, man? That'd be a crazy Yo, way to go out. What? Is that some, like uncharted shit? What's going uncharted. On? Nigga, but you are not. You are I'm not. I'd like sit there like free dive and not grab onto like somebody's luggage and then jump off of it and then grab somebody else and start climbing my way up. You grabbing onto somebody's leg, bro. Exactly. Uh, the thing is, y'all ain't got nah. the uncharted in you. The Tom nah, Fancy. What's his name? You are about to be uncharted from this planet, bro. That's just going into the Bermuda Triangle. That's what I'm did saying. Uncharted planet. survive? No, yes, no. You did. That shit not real. That I'm shit not all the real. Big time events. No, that shit about to hit you around your fucking dome. You know what I mean? Somebody ah, gonna ah. start like, fighting me for some reason. I'm about to beat that. Oh, he's gonna ass get hit sky. by the engine. Oh, he's gonna hit by the engine. That's what I'm saying. Like this is this shit real I mean, life. That's, that's instantaneous. Funny. If y'all could choose a way to go out, you wouldn't choose a plane crash. That's crazy. No, bro. Not, that shit is not you drowning. You're going to be on fire. You're going to be on fire. And then it's going to Why would the Facts. plane just explode? What? That's what it does <laughs> every time. Yeah. While it's crashing? Yeah. All that gasoline and shit. You're already falling by that point. It don't, it don't explode until it hits the ground. That's what I said. But you're still going to be in the plane, though. You have like, a few people to jump out that bitch. Maybe like a few people will die in impact. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like a little ah, air pocket opens up inside the plane and everybody gets sucked out of it. What plane are you flying? You like this really? Doing, un- that's all I'm saying. What's like on? what, bro? You just, y'all ain't hitting the quick time events, bro, at all. Bro, you hitting the gas is what you're hitting right now, bro. Uh, I guess. I guess I no, bro. No, bro. I, I, I just, I just can't believe you was, bro. The bird, what's bird, like bird, a more you, wild than me. What's, what's like a wild statement about saying I'd want to die in a plane crash? We're straying too far from the topic at hand. Why are we oh. to all convince Taco to come to Cali with us? Why is this nigga like, I, I, I don't I, know. I don't, to, I don't mean to bring this up again, but you know, we we, we don't want you to say that because we're the, we're the king of the manifestors here, bro. You, you know the curse. No, not me. I mean, you not can take me. me out and you can take me out when I'm like 50. Huh? What? I'm saying, I'm, I don't know. I've always thought I didn't want to get old on some real shit. 50 too young. I'm cool with 50. I'm cool with like 60. I ain't gonna hold you. Not at all. At least, at least a smooth 75. 80. At least. I'm all right smooth, on that. Smooth 80. Smooth 80. Hell no. Nah. Uh, what do you mean? 50 I'm not is making young. Hell, I don't want to go to 70. Fuck no. I'll, I'll go up. I'm cool what? with 60. 70 is too much. You pushing it at 70. What, what do you mean? 70 people are still no like way. doing crazy shit at 70. They're still going crazy at 70. No, that's healthy niggas. Bro, I just, extremely I just healthy them. niggas. Yeah. yeah. You got to be idealistic. Gonna be with your, with your, with y'all's diet you have right now, y'all think y'all going to be a healthy 70? Yeah, I be working out and stuff. Yeah, how the way I'm, I'm going with shit right now, yeah. 
You said what? How much do you work out? Because them niggas be working out every day. That's why I work out every day. I be doing yeah, what's your workout regimen? I be doing my push ups. I be doing my cardio. Like people, I, I know like the exact number though. I can just say yeah, push up sit ups. No way. I mean, I, I be doing about 100 push ups a day, and I be doing ample cardio. And then my job like, is Saitama, bro. I mean, what? that's what I be doing. Yo, what kind like, of time is this, this dude on today? <laughs> me, like, you know, Mikey, all do that shit. Me? Like, what like, are you? I didn't even say anything. I don't know. Like you're just mad hostile a little bit. Like why? Why? Why don't you? Why don't you want to? I said I'd be cool with dying in the plane, and y'all attacked me over it. Man, Timmy started questioning you a little uh, bit because that's a crazy statement to make. But like, it's one of the coolest ways to go out. What do you mean coolest ways? You wouldn't want to die in a cool way. We're all gonna die. What do you mean? No, I want to die in like my sleep peacefully type shit. That shit, man. What shit is that? What? You're insane. You're still gonna wake up and feel it. What do you mean? Nobody. No, you're. You think niggas I'm actually sleeping. die in their sleep? Yes, they just sleep and they pass uh, away. So if a nigga punched you, you just gonna stay asleep? Bro, I'm dead. Yeah. What? You know, you're gonna no, wake up and feel it, bro. What? Like whenever no niggas way. say die in their sleep, they just mean like they just died in their bed, like while no, they were bro, sleeping, they woke sleep, up. Man. You that think, doesn't you mean that like a man like, is having a heart attack while he's sleeping. You don't wake up and clutch his shit. I mean, that's not a heart attack. That's not a heart attack. He's distracted, he's I'm distracted about from a dream. That's what nigga. That's what dying dream. in your sleep means. It means one of your shit just shuts down. You don't feel that. Yeah, uh, you don't die. You don't like ah ah. It's not pain. You just yes, die. Yes, what? Yes, you are. <laughs> no, what do you mean? You don't, you don't no, just you don't. you don't just go painlessly like what? Yes, you do. That's yeah, the you whole, do, bro. You're gonna wake up and feel that shit and then die. No, I promise you, you're not. So you I think you think your dream is, is like a, a protect? Bro. He's gonna protect yes, you from bro. pain, bro. He's saying that like he wants it to happen. God damn. That's what I'm saying. Like no, you said bro. you wanted it to happen. What do you mean? That's what I'm what saying. Mean, but like, what? but dying. I said, how would you like, want to die? And he said, dying peacefully. Oh, yeah, right, you right, just right, die right. in your you just like pass away in your sleep. It's not like you. It's it, 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 not it, possible. Yes, it is. That's what it's called. If you die yeah, by a then, heart attack, then they say you die by a heart attack. It's a different the scenario. Same be, oh, he died. Bro, in it's bed. not no, Elm it's Street. Niggas sleep. aren't dying in their sleep and not feeling nothing, bro. They feel pain. They are. No, uh, no, uh, bro. You, no. Like, like, you know, like twenty five niggas right now. You can name or something. I promise you, they feel that shit. I promise you they don't. They just sit there and they just die peacefully. I have family that has passed in their sleep. Have you I seen, know. Did you see them? No. No. Bro, the, 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 the coroner dog. told us. What do you mean? The they tell you your the, shit shuts down and you wake up and then die. You, how do you wake up and die? That's not how that works. Bro, you can't. What do you mean? Dog, now you're you sleeping and, this, and, then you're, and then you're like, you're lying, you know, you're lying, your kidney or whatever just, just shuts up and you just go, ah. And he die. What but what is the final breath gonna this. be, bro? What you're gonna be gasping? You're not just gonna no. give up immediately. I'll give you up know, again. okay, it's bro, like it's I'm... like whenever niggas try to like drown themselves, right? Your body goes into fight or flight. Like, you can't actively try to drop kill yourself like that. That's why niggas go with, like instant sta- instantaneous shit. If you are suffocating, you're gonna wake up and be struggling to breathe. Well, yeah, but that, that's a different thing. Then you're suffocating. I'm talking about that's your pain. Body. What? Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about your buddy. Your body shutting your off. Your butt. What the <laughs> fuck is going on with you? What is going on right now, Doug? I'm talking about your body shutting off, man. <laughs> you got an on and off switch, bro. You're not just going. <laughs> you're not you just do. gonna just dissipate into the afterlife, but you yes, don't feel you do. it. That's it. the whole. That's the whole. That's why they be saying, "Oh, he died peacefully in his sleep." That's they that's the say that for the. Pussy ass family, bro. What? No, what? When you want to hear your your no, relative win like that? Dog. Yeah, because it's true though. Some niggas be I actually seen them. They, they bro, would you rather? Would you rather a, a coroner be like, yeah, bro, he got in a car crash and passed away? Would you rather him be like, yeah, he flew out the windshield, scraped his face in the ground, and then got hit by twenty five cars after that? Like, no, bro. And go with the you most simple statement. Uh, but that's his job. But that's his job. Yeah, to go with the most simple statement, exactly. But this no, shit got demonetized two seconds in, man. Facts. But the Dude. thing is, bro, is, no, bro, no, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell y'all that when you die in your sleep, it's mad peaceful. Like I and and people even say it too. Bro, they said they go like into the room, a past life or something, bro. You feel it? But because no, because people people say they go into the room and they say the grandpa, the grandma is like, you know, just lying there, just mad peaceful, like their arms folded and everything, you, you know, because they was peaceful. holding their chest, they were dying. <laughs> <laughs> what no. do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, you don't understand. No, bro, I need, I need, I need, 
I need someone down below to just, you know, put a comment down and see which one you agree with. That if you die, when you die peacefully, you actually die peacefully. Or you, you, uh, 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 you uh, die uh, before. Let man, they did not make this shit. They did not make it this far, roughly. The shit y'all were talking. Or did, did, did you see that on um, the article? The article that guy said um like he died, and then when he died, he saw uh he saw Rihanna um singing "Umbrella in Hell," and then he came back to what life. What is going on? What the fuck? Yeah, Taco, you scared of death? Me? Yeah, you I'm sound sorry. kind of like frigid in this conversation. Frigid, blah, bro. I, I, me and Jess is just wondering where this this is all coming from, man. Why you, you put Why you put me in it? He was asking you a question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jess wondering too. Jess, are you bro. scared of death? Man, I used to when I was younger, but now it's like, and so now that I'm living my life to the fullest. You know, it's a little bit wavy now, a little bit. I know I'm doing my purpose. What? Nah, y- 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 y'all done. Both of y'all. What does that mean, bro? <laughs> Taco, what? <laughs> I was that's wavy, man. Y'all are crazy. It's not, it's not wavy, you be but like of we something are. that's gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. It's like not, not being scared. It's just like y'all sound like you're manifesting that shit. You're not manifesting say, yeah, if I anything, manifest it or not, it's gonna happen. Even if I die in thirty years, going? you'd be like, damn, he manifested that shit. Like, no, it's gonna happen regardless. Yeah, bro. Nah, bro, you're, you're 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 saying, oh, you don't care if you make it to forty. If, like, was it fifty or whatever? Say 40. He did not say that. He six, not, whatever, bro. He did not say shit, that. Man. He, he didn't say he didn't care. He just said like he like he prefers to go around that age before sixty. Yeah, it's not manifesting. Uh, it's like, at sixty. You know? My fault. Not before sixty. I'm okay, Taco. So what age are you? Taco, what age are you ready to die at? Ninety nine. I just don't want to get to the what point the in life fuck? where niggas have to take care of me. Yeah, fuck that though. I can't do. So I'm, now, yeah, I'm, I'm too I'm, prideful for that if, shit. If it's like uh, if it's like that, then it's different. But I'm, I'm talking nigga, about a healthy mind. I'm not having someone like take like change my diapers. Like nigga, no, oh, I'm not doing that, that bullshit. shit. And once so they have to start changing you and your dick don't work, like I'm cool on that. I'm not gonna live that life. Nah, real talk. You you honestly think you're gonna be clapping cheeks at like 65 though? I don't yeah. want to. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, the horny don't just go away. That's for Facts. women. Actually, no women get more horny. So absolutely. I didn't know this, man. It's the truth. What do you mean? It's true. They get more like estrogen and shit because like hot yeah. flashes. When they're older, they age like yeah. fine wine. Like yeah, fine women wine. get like more healthy as they get older. Like their body nice. matures more. What is going on, dog? And, and they can't, and they start having kids around a certain age. So it's just like free game at that point. With consent, of course. What? That's the truth. Yo. Nah. That... Talk, talk about, that's why the whole milf thing age. comes from, like milf, like fine women or cougars. That's what it comes from. They just mad horny. That's what age like fine wine means. Yeah. Like niggas, like we like, oh, we like, God. we start to like lose our sperm count, all kinds of shit. But women, this is getting like sexier. Taco, bro. Taco, like, are you good? <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Wait, Taco, so why you, you say you want to live to age 99? Why? It's so old. Yes, sir. It's blasphemous. What the I mean, fuck? Blasphemous? Yo, you don't like living, bro? What the hell? Nigga, I, I do. I like, what type get... of question is that? Of course I like living. Well, once you get to a certain age, What's that I'm not even living no said? Yeah, if I didn't want to, I just wouldn't. What? That's what Gambino said. In that uh, yeah, in Breakfast know. Club interview, in Breakfast Club interview, what would he say? He was just like, "It's easy for me to just take my own life," and they all started laughing. Oh yeah, and then he was like, "I mean, dead serious." And, yeah. they, were just like, uh, <laughs> and they were all like, "What?" That's yeah, how I mean, it's, it's, right it's now. true. Like, if niggas didn't want to be here, then I don't think they would want to be here. But I like, I genuinely think uh, everybody has a fighting spirit inside them. Yeah, or everybody. Like- I think either has one, or they gain one, or they will have one. No way. Even the people that be like, they really like, I'm done with this life shit. Like at the like at the last second, they just like, no, no, they they, they still want to stay here. We ever heard like um, I think a, an atheist will like try to confront God on their deathbed or whatever. I've never heard of that. Me neither. Yeah, I mean, like if they're dying or there's like somebody is told that they're dying on their deathbed and they'll pray and be like, okay, uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. They're, they're, trying to, they're, trying to, they're trying to find like any way to kind of stay alive type shit. Well, yeah, I mean, any way to like accept being in the afterlife. Because like when we're when we're on the, uh, on the deathbed or whatever, like that's it. Like whatever we say, whatever we do, I mean, that's just that's gonna be it. Hmm. So they like will pray to God. Like this is like a I don't know how they got the statistic, but there's like a high percentage of atheists that like will pray if they're dying. But they're trying to make it to heaven, like, at the last moment type shit? Yeah, like a little buzzer beater. What the uh, fuck? 
like a little eBay. Uh, what is that? Like a like a bid swiping? I don't know what this shit's called. Does it work? Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no way, bro. Nah, I, you know those people that be like writing books. I'm like, oh, I died, and then when I saw God, and I came back. That's all bullshit. I got to talk. I got to talk. I got to talk. I got to talk. Even if, if y'all like grew up listening, if y'all all like know that book, Heaven is for Real, with that little kid yeah, on the front yeah, of it, that shit was yeah. a fucking lie. No way. What? How they make a whole seven chapter novel about what he saw when he died? Seven chapters is a lot of chapters. He might have really been speaking in shit. Yeah, it was in like 300 pages too. It was a long ass book. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think that shit. I don't think that shit's legit. Of course it's not. That shit. That shit nowhere near real. You think if a, you think it wouldn't have been taken more serious if a nigga really saw what was in heaven, or if heaven was real, like he would be like a guinea pig for the rest of his life. Oh my god. Yeah, because like nigga, science is trying to figure out what's on this earth. You don't think if a nigga like found out what was in the afterlife, they wouldn't just test that nigga's brain forever? Maybe they have though. Is that man even still alive? Have they ever seen that Maybe man? We don't know exactly. Maybe we don't know. No, he's an actor. He's an actor. Yeah. Who? He's inside Maze Runner. What? Hold on. No, don't look it up. Don't look it up. No, no. Well, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? Why'd you say hold on? <laughs> I'm looking it up. Stop. Uh, Maze Runner main actor. Mm-hmm. It was the, he played Newt. He played Newt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, just don't look it up. Ew, this <laughs> nigga. Nah, no, they made a movie happen. out of it. They capitalized like crazy off this fake ass story. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Thomas Brody Sang- Sangster. Thomas Brody Sangster. Yeah, he okay. He died. What? Well, why is he still what? a little kid in this picture though? Like that just was like <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> He's thirty two. What the fuck? Oh, he has a Twitter. Right. What the? He's still using the the little baby avatar. What the fuck? Bro, I was probably oh, scamming really niggas. Damn. Burp, dog. I mean, is he, he said, I've been shucked and gone shit. to heaven. I've been shucked and gone to heaven. Whoa. I believe him. I can always, I believe him. Oh, he's reposting Conor McGregor shit. Oh, this nigga is, this nigga is all right. Oh yeah, fuck this. Oh no way. <laughs> he on different timing. His name was Connor, is that? Connor Curum or some shit. I don't know. Oh, who are you talking? You you talking about the main character? I'm talking about Newt. Oh Newt? Nah, that nigga, he, he's famous. What? That's the, the, um, the dude bro. that was in the dude that was enemy inside Maze Runner is like a huge Marvel nigga now. Or a character, I forgot who it was. He's playing uh like Nova or some shit. And Marvel? Extremely important character. Yeah, the dude that was on Maze Runner, the nerdy ass nigga that was on We're the Millers. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, him. I think Taco, you said you met him or you saw him one time, right? Or am I nah, not him. He's met nah. everybody, I ain't gonna hold you. Oh sir. Taco has a story for like every celebrity <laughs> ever. I, I'm I like, bro. We saw P. Diddy I, I, just randomly. I look, that was insane. Nah. Like, the I'm more there. stories I hear about this nigga, I was like, how do we see that nigga? Like, why was he out the house? <laughs> And, we, and that was like the same pizza spot we were trying to go to too. And then we're like, ah, we'll come back later. And then we came back later, and the line was even That's longer. We were like, we were Dang. like, why? We were like, who was here? I, and we looked, like and we turned around. Spot, but I feel like that shit was fire inside that place. I, I feel like I feel like we. I think I think our spot's better. It's just that that place is probably just like mad known. Cause like why was P Diddy just chilling there? And, people, and then this one cloud demon nigga was like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? And then and the nigga, bodyguard almost like killed his ass up on his fucking arm. <laughs> Nah, bro. You gotta go back to that pizza shop, dog. That shit was yeah, mad shit was good. Fine. They'll probably remember us, too. We might be the only I'm customer. A, I'm a gatekeep, too. I remember, I'm not even gonna say the name. Uh, let's gatekeep. I, I, I don't remember. I, I know what it's called. I just remember the location. Yeah, me I neither. I just, I just, I just know we were hungry. Was. We were just mad and hungry going through those streets. And then we were like, ah, babe, we found it. We found it. And we walked in. He's like, like, hey, Apollo. Like, yeah. They knew it. That knew shit was exactly mad who fire. Yes, sir. Hey, like, they, like they, 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 they knew we were coming back too, too. I don't know what's going on. Matt Wavy. Like, hey, you back, you back. When they dapped us up and everything, they gave us like they, they gave me a free slice. And they gave everybody a free no slice. Way. Yes, sir. I got a free slice too. I got the meat lovers what? shit. Yeah, yeah I, I got a meat lovers. Yo. They gave me a complimentary uh, pepperoni for a drink. Like wait, Taco, they charge you for all the all the slices? Yes, bro. <laughs> Damn. Taco, bro. How come like every time we go somewhere, they kinda of, like <laughs> hoe you a little bit? Oh my god! What was the other time that happened? 
It was uh, that time. And it was at the uh, in Atlanta. It happened because we couldn't find a restaurant at all. Any any restaurant Taco suggested just didn't exist. What for what? <laughs> <laughs> What don't try don't try to act like that didn't happen, bro. Talk about no, we, we should go here. That. And then we walked to the place where the building should be, and it was just like a, bro, a government building, I a government never sanction. Gave a suggestion. I never gave a suggestion. That was you guys. Bro, he pointed and was like, bro, let's go to Wiener Snitchel, dog. And then we walked and there was just like a gated area. Yeah, like, you said Wiener what? Wiener Snitchel. I think you and you and Sarah wanted to go there, bro. Go where? To Wiener Snitchel? Not a story. To Wiener Snitchel? I never saw. Oh my god! I was there, man. Me too. We we went to your spot and it just didn't exist. Do we we need to get a guest star on here with Sarah? Bro, we got a a baby, bro. Now we got a we got a gatekeep that one place we 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 did end up eating the four of us. We gotta gatekeep that shit. That shit is so fire. Waffle House. Oh wow! I, I gotta go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh other spot. Yeah, that shit was good. That shit was good. Yeah. All about to say Waffle House is not a gatekeep. Everybody know that fuck ass place. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, so that was Taco's yeah, first yeah, time yeah. eating there. A Waffle yeah. House. Yeah. I need to go, yeah. bro. I'm only. I'm. I'm. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I need to go when I go to Atlanta. I'm. I'm saving that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, Atlanta. That shit. That shit there's a Waffle House in every damn first, block. That's the first meal I had. That's the first meal I had, dog. What's your rating? One through ten. What's your rating? One through ten. It's like clean nine. Under Ezekiel. Hell yeah. Hey, what's his name? Hell Nehemiah? Yeah. What's that dude's name? Who? Did you be rating food? Ezekiel? Oh, Keith? Oh, Keith, yeah. Who the Ezekiel? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nah, Paul, I promise you, Paul's be making up shit, bro. What? Like, I, I got it right. You knew what I was talking about, though. Nah, I did. I did. Shout out Keith Lee. That nigga doing his damn thing. He is the y'all epitome talk of. about the controversy, or y'all just want to keep bigging him up? Oh, for Keith Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I can give the rundown anyways, because he, he, he squashed that shit immediately. I had to respect it. I <laughs> had to respect demon? it. Yes, bro. It was a clout demon. Clout demon. <laughs> what so, happened? Explain. So, bas- so basically, so there's this woman on TikTok. Well, she's not only from TikTok. I guess like, she has like her real job is like pitching ideas. Uh, it's like networks for shows for people, like mostly like I guess influencers. Like she's she's like the middleman. Like she kind of gets with the influencer. Like what, what do you want to do? And like okay, like bet bet bet. And then she kind of helps them form their ID, and then she pitches it to the food like whatever network they're trying to do. So I guess she did the same thing for Keith. But like first of all, her idea was like nothing original. And then second of all, like he didn't even get to, like he really like, he told her it like outright like i'm not like really trying to do it or anything like that i appreciate like you like reaching out but i already have my team with me because his team is like his family basically it's just like his uh, his wife and his uh his sister or whatever he's like i already got my team with me i'm, I'm cool but the the thing that she was pitching was that she wanted him to um like do do basically what he's doing right now but do it on a bigger scale for an actual tv show but everybody's been telling him to do that he's been doing that if anything that's how you got the whole Mr. Beast thing going on. So it was like, you know, like, what was the point of her even pitching that, first of all? And then second of all, he told her no immediately. <laughs> so, and he, and he pulled out the receipts. And he, had, he had the receipts. He had the, the text messages and everything. And then she replied to his video and was like, I wasn't even talking about you. And niggas in the comments were just, I, when I tell you they were on her ass, bro, I've never seen someone be hated that much on TikTok before. It was worse than ED. I can hold you. It was crazy. And then what? She, then she, really? And she, yeah, bro. She stopped posting a little bit. I don't know. Damn. Oh, wait, bro, like, one of her, like, re- I know she made a response to the initial video she made, but that, that I think that response she made was maybe like a day after that. But I think that the the, 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 the whole situation didn't like, really unfold or like it wasn't as viral as the people are talking about it until maybe a few days after. But yeah, I don't think she's ever posted anything aside from the initial response to her first video. But nah, she's like, nah. Also, the thing I want to say is. When she made that video, like, in, in that first video that she made against Keith or whatever, like, she never named him by name, but, like, she like, put food critic. Obviously, she was talking about him. But the way she starts the video off is, like, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, she introduces herself. She's, like, oh, like, you know, I won a lot of Emmys, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, some shit like that. Like, just like, bragging. Just, like, just, 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 just so we can, I, I guess, like, the audience is, like, kind of um, swayed, like, her way. Oh, because she's won uh emmys and shit like that so she's credible whatever it's, it's all bullshit matt corny i ain't gonna hold you matt corny i hate cloud demons bro this is so much like and it's always only towards black people i promise you whenever a black man or a black woman is growing in the space or any like at least any person of color it's always like someone got a, and it's always like their own people too like it's always someone from their own race trying to turn them back down like that should not make no sense to me at all 
Nah, because it happened yeah. to um, Mr. Beast. Whenever he uh, released that, you know, curing the blindness or whatever, niggas were on his ass. I feel like, but he's already made it, though. He's not like he's blowing up now. He's already made it. If anything, yeah, he's, like, he's like, just like a testament to, like, no matter what you do, no matter how good of a person you are, like, niggas will still try to cancel you for something. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, I don't niggas understand calling what... him a clout chaser for <laughs> saying he healed the blind. No. No way, man. Yeah, so was... Y'all think y'all think eating on those cl- skeletons in this closet? Mr. Beast? <laughs> He probably yeah. does, but you probably I mean, just paid everyone like, off. Don't talk about it. When you are genuinely a good person, I don't give a fuck about the skeletons. Like, unless, it's, like it's only if you like still doing shit. Yeah. Like Jazz nah. and you. Like if y'all had something come up from like twenty years ago, like when you were in fucking whatever the fuck. And I was like, damn, I'm not gonna be like, oh, y'all out of here then. I'm gonna be like, okay, well, it happened, and now I know you're a good person now. You don't agree with that, Taco? You said nah. I think it just depends on what it is, though. That's the thing. What? I mean, if it's, like, some crazy shit, like, he kills somebody, or, of course, like, S.A. or something like that, then, yeah, but... Yeah. If it's, like, if he just, like, said a word or some shit 15, 16, 17 years ago, like, I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. That is true. But, I mean, like, we've seen now, like, even though when things happen in real time now, people still don't care. Like, well, of course, like, E.D. I just saw, like, even before we were recording, I saw E.D., uh, live on TikTok again, like niggas don't care at all. So I mean, but, I see him a lot. He's like, he's always live, and he always has to show him sub only or the fuck you be got in that shit on with like twenty thousand people in there, all typing, yeah, 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 going crazy. So no, they just um, pay to make fun of him, but you still put money inside his pockets, like you ain't doing nothing. Be spamming that little those gifts too, like the fucking flowers and roses and shit. That shit just I don't so, know, dumb, bro. What the hell? What did, what does Mister Beast have to do for you? Or what is, like, what are you talking about, Taco? Like, in the whole, like, grand scheme, uh, of it, I guess. I mean, I guess, wait, like, like, like my objection to it, well, it wasn't, like, my objection to it. Well, like, so, if like, somebody is, like, a an amazing person, like, you still care if they, like, did something a long time ago? Uh, yeah. I, I, I would definitely just say, like I said, um, like, like you were saying, I, I it would just definitely depend on what it was. Obviously, you know, if, like, stuff like you mentioned, like, you know, killing somebody or whatever the case may be i feel like that's a little bit extreme but um i don't know it's so what's like the it, smallest thing that you think you'd be like nah fuck him um 15 years ago 15 i mean 15 years ago uh, he, i think he's like he's like my age i, I think or like a year old or so okay, 15 years ago, 10 years, been, ago. Like, 10 years ago all right uh 10 years ago um I guess nothing right now. Just I mean, just because I I don't think he's a good example because like ten years ago he was like fifteen or sixteen, and so like I, we all know when we're fifteen and sixteen we just say dumb shit. So it's it's not really fair to critique him as the almost thirty year old adult. To if, for example, if you were like had, if he had said something when he was like fifteen, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it really take a lot. Like, I, I mean, I can just, I don't know. I think everybody that hates on somebody of that caliber, you're just hating just to hate. Especially if they're, like, actually a good person. Like, yeah. I can say, like, I'm, I, I think, actually, no, somebody just said Game Theory had, like, a controversy recently. But I just be hating just to hate on that nigga. I mean, because, like, I, he <laughs> obviously stole from me, so fuck Yeah, he nigga. stole your shit. But, I mean, like, I don't know if he did. Somebody on his team did. I'm just saying fuck him just to be saying fuck him. Like that's just hating just to hate. Like some I think yeah. niggas just start need to admitting whenever they're just hating because they're hating, like for no reason. Pretty trying to hide that shit as if like it, you know. Cause like for sure, like even with that game theory guy, like you can tell like he has a big ass team, so they're probably like just scouring the internet, wanting him to play a game yeah, or whatever. I mean, somebody on this team real. is a bitch ass nigga. I don't yeah. know if it's him, but somebody is. And if it was him, then fuck that nigga. I think it was like, but your friends reflect who you are. So if his friends are, if his people around him are like are being bitch ass niggas, you know? Yeah, it's you true. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying there's anything going on. I'm just saying, like, um, well, I put it like this. I think it, it's awesome. It's, it's great what Mr. Beast is doing. Like, it's so dope. But, like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm not tired of, but, like. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> 
that's uh, hey, whatever you got to say is hey. I start laughing immediately. <laughs> if you gotta hate, if you gotta, if you say you hate somebody, they gotta look for reasons that you hate them. No, 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 no. I I know why. It's just not. Nah, I didn't mean it to start off like that. But basically, no. Nah, my whole thing is like, yeah, you guys see those comments where like like they're praising him, you know, like praising what he did. That's cool. But like a lot of them are just calling him like, oh, he's like a saint and shit like that. But it's like. Uh, saying stuff like that, like always, have rub- has rubbed me the wrong way. Like no one, no, no one's really like a saying like that. Like I mean, like I said, we only know what he puts online and everything like that. But so you it's not like people that like, say that. Are you talking like a hater? Because like that, you, that could be said by anybody. You, I feel like. I mean, y'all don't believe in modern day saints. No, I mean, like, why did why I mean, do I, saints have to stop in BC? I mean, I agree. I agree with Taco. I feel like no one's like a saint, or like no one's perfect in a sense. But I mean, like Man, nobody's perfect. Const- but I feel like you can still get close to it. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, but I, I feel like what Taco's saying can be applied to literally anybody. I feel like Taco's just pulling this out. He has nothing else to grasp on. <laughs> no, it was a general. Con- it was a general statement, bro. Taco. Be honest with me, bro. Be honest with me, bro. You really hate, you really hate Mr. Beast like that. You really, you really not yeah, with that nigga like that. You can, you can, <laughs> you can hear when Jez is smiling, bro. Yeah, no, no. Nah, that's, nah, nah, that's, that's, no that's not the case. Bro. That's not the case. Uh, bro, what do you mean, bro? Because there's no way you just pulled out the bag like that. You were just like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, because nah, people nah. keep calling him a saint, bro. People for the last no, week have been calling bro. this nigga a devil. So what you're saying yeah, is not yeah, true. Said the I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that they're calling him. I'm just saying in general, just doing that in general, like calling someone, anyone, like I'm saying like that. It's just, you know, yeah, how, how would you know? We only know, we only see like 20 minutes. You can say that about life. anyone. Talk, you can say that about anybody, exactly. man. Yeah, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, what I'm okay, saying. Okay, I'm saying okay. those comments are like just weird. I always found those comments weird. That's the whole thing. So you hate the people saying that? That's the, I, I never said hate, first off. And second you said, off. You said somebody doing something that good and then you start talking about <laughs> comments. <laughs> Nah, bro. Hey. I, I never said it was about him. I, I literally said it's just the comments. Oh yeah, so you can you can admit that he's a good person, or a great person. Fuck Mr. Beast. What the What's f- up? Nah, I'm fuck with you. <laughs> no, bro, it's too late. I think we already lost nah, the fucking okay, sponsor. I, I did it for the sound, but I did it for the sound, but facts, facts. Sounds like the sound, but yeah, he, yeah. he's he's already working with Keith Lee. But we're in next. What? Honestly? Okay, so I saw him ask Mr. Beast. Did Mr. Beast say yes? Yeah, they actually they, he posted a picture with them together too. Like, and and then Mr. Beast was like so was sitting in his setup too. If people watch Keith Lee, you know he's he's sitting in like his little Paw Patrol chair, and he'd be like reacting to the food. He had Mr. Beast sitting in the same chair with them and such shit, and they were all like, and it, it was mad wave. It was mad wave. Yeah, I don't, wavy. I don't get him on my timeline enough. I really respect what he does, though. I really respect that shit. Mad wavy. I think I think the whole, basically the whole thing was like he's gonna go around. He's from Las Vegas. He was gonna go to different Las Vegas small businesses and. Uh, should like taste their food and like rate them and stuff like that. But like, e- like along the way, it's still good because even if like the person like doesn't win, they still got a lot of traction on TikTok. So people were like, they're like, they would like be like, going from like having like zero customers and made like a couple to like having hundreds. And it was it was really fire to see. And the person who gets to win, I think like they fly them out to go see Mr. Beast and they like, give them a bunch of money and try the food and they make videos on it. And they they're gonna put one on Keith's channel and Mr. Beast's channel. So you know you're gonna be on them. Yeah, yeah, he's on YouTube, yeah. Hell yeah. But like, getting put like, on Mr. Um, Beast's channel is insane. In, a, in another way, <clears throat> like in a whole different conversation, I was just kind of thinking about it like, like, what if you were to just do some shit right now? Like, we need to talk about, like, why creators self sabotage. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, whenever you have these huge creators and then you find out that they're talking to underage fans and shit after uh. they've already made it. I mean, I feel like a lot of them like use that to get to that part. Like they, like they want to get that fame and stuff like that, so they can kind of hold it over people's heads and use that to even like yeah. accomplish so you, I don't like think it just more. amplifies it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that shit just comes out of nowhere. I feel like that. That's something that it, yeah. it, it always just been scummy, but it's it just been revealed. Sorry, my fault. It's just been revealed at that point, you know. It's definitely, what's that because I heard if y'all y'all know about Seth the programmer, right? Have y'all heard of him? I saw Sacred nah. tweet that shit, and I was like, "What the fuck." Uh, it's like this guy that basically talks about anime and stuff. I think he was at um, he was at oh, DreamCon or something. It was oh, like a, wow. as a person that yeah, I think he was at DreamCon. Yeah, he was at DreamCon because he had like he's real close with uh, what's his name, Afro Sinju. 
they, they both do like oh, anime way. style content. Yeah. Um, so he's like a part of the whole Smash tournament and stuff. Um, yeah, he can't, or like a whole bunch of Twitlongers came out basically saying that he was just a terrible person, basically. So like after he already made that shit, because they were saying he was doing that recently. I just don't see how people make it and then just fuck they whole shit up, bro. Like, that's crazy. I just feel like I got to be a deeper conversation one of these days. It's definitely what Taco's saying, though. I think it just gets amplified. Like, because, like, people are probably already like that. Like, and, like you know, people be saying, like, money doesn't change you. Like, you're going to be the same with or without money type shit. So it's best to, like, really get your character in line and, like, have a good mentality before you even get money. Because if you act like money's going to, money's going to, at least even money or fame or clout's going to change you, it's not kind of the same thing so they probably still have those tendencies and still have those weird ass shit they want to do but when they come into money or they get fame it's like, if anything it just helps them out and let's let's cover them he's probably been doing this shit for eons but now like well i mean I, I don't know how like like i don't know what's going on specifically so i don't know if this man's like basically already done for but like like even taking him aside is looking at, like a person that might be in his shoes and doing that kind of weird shit like for sure, like they probably been doing this shit for eons, and their money and their cloud probably just helps them mask it and like just be doing that shit in the background. Cause ED was doing that shit for eons, and he's still doing it. He doesn't give a damn. He's so it just shows it. you. So it just shows you, like, you know. Well, I hope it's wrong, cause I, I don't, I don't really watch Seth like that or nothing like that. But like I've heard, I've heard his name before, and I'm pretty sure he for sure did go to DreamCon. Yeah, I don't I was, really watch him like that. Um, he's just, I know he's huge. Like he definitely has like either upwards of a million or, like, a million plus. And he was at DreamCon because, like, all them niggas watch anime, so they probably all fuck with him. Damn. Yeah, they man. said some guy named Clyde was, like, made a video about it, too. Like, he was like, why I don't talk to him anymore? I don't know who Clyde is, but I guess, like, maybe, like, yeah, his Clyde editor. Is, like, somebody he used to make videos with. Uh... So what did, what, did, what did he end up doing? Um, They just all came out and said that he was a very, very bad person and that he has a uh, couple of, like, SA, SA people trying to can get him to. Well, yeah. a lot of SA talking about supposedly talking to underage fans, something like that. Like just uh, a bunch, of weird, yeah, yeah, bunch yeah. of weird stuff. A bunch of weird over. stuff. Oh man, I, this, some people are gonna do worse. I ain't gonna hold you. And they still here. Like I, I mean, I, I, I genuinely think like not to say I side with them, not to say I agree with none of this bullshit. But, like, niggas just can really do whatever they want, and as long as they got a core fan base, they'll still survive that shit. I mean, we've seen ample niggas come back from terrible shit. Of course, definitely. That's why, like, though, for sure, like, we've been saying that for eons, but, like, cancel culture just doesn't exist. I mean, I feel like what, what it really was is, like, maybe, like, during 2020, 2021, since we were all stuck inside, like, people couldn't, like, really go outside. People couldn't really do anything. So people were, like, were really just, all they could do was just spend their life online just hating on people and trying to cancel them for anything. But nowadays, since, like, there's a lot more stuff going on to kind of, like, divert focus, people can get away with a lot more. To the point where, like, people like ED and stuff like that are just getting away with anything. And that stuff passes by so fast. Like, the whole Kais and that thing, like, of course, he didn't do anything himself specifically. But, like, I haven't heard any news about, like, Yeah, I haven't heard, what like, any follow-up anything about anything like it stuff like news just goes by so fast so like now that he's already having a subathon doing all this stuff for 30 days like people have already forgot about this you're on to the next story on to the next person now they're all talking about like what's going on with bruce and stuff like that now that'll probably pass and then it's just like so just i, like, I, I have know. seen or i have noticed anyway that uh i used to see kai clips like every single day it seemed like but mm-hmm. now i don't really see nothing like that anymore Nah, he for sure, he for sure, he for sure tainted this shit, I ain't gonna hold you, like his, like, even like he, like I said before, like, of course, we're not saying he did anything specifically, but it just his name being wrapped in controversy, it's kind of, it's, it's not raps or nothing like that, but like, he, it's kind of like how, I mean, I guess I don't want to compare it to Chris Brown's situation, Chris Brown, did like, that's a whole different what thing, the? but like, you know, Chris, like, they say Chris Brown would have been like, really, really, like, Chris Brown is still big as fuck as an artist, but he would have been like, crazy big if he never went through that whole Rihanna stuff. Like, this is not like a really good comparison because uh, comparing that to what Kai went through is not, but like, that's the only way I can even kind of like picture it is that without this thing that happened, Kai still would have been like that person. And he's still big, a content creator, obviously, but like, it's just like, it feels like his light been dimmed a little bit. That's the only way I can explain it. It feels like there's something off. Like, I, don't, I barely see him anymore. I don't see any the algorithm pushing him anymore. Yeah. Um, like, I, just, yeah, I, mean, I, I used to see that nigga on Twitter, TikTok. Just, like, even if it yes. was, like, a, 
one off clip <laughs> like once every couple of days. Maybe not every day. I might have been over exaggerating a little bit, but I definitely every once day. every like three days. I definitely saw like a Kai clip of him doing something. I don't see I'm that. Still nigga be getting at some. All. I'm still be getting some like on TikTok and sometimes on YouTube because I used to watch like um, I used to, well not not like used to watch like but like it would come up on my recommended a lot like his um. Maybe that something specific happens on his stream or whatever, and like I'll, I'll, I used to like kind of watch it back just to you know see the, the recap or whatever. Something funny. Um, those did go away for a while once the whole like situation happened. Um, but I think as of as of this past week, like I think last week, I've been getting I got like some on TikTok, like some shit that happened on the stream, like some funny stuff. Some I think on YouTube I saw some thumbnails like oh recap of uh, Kai stream or whatever. So. Yeah, I think the only thing I saw recently was like he was talking to Cinderella or some shit. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, I that's even that, like yeah. recent. Like there was like a whole month span where I didn't see that nigga shit at all. Or even a even weeks. Even that Cinderella one happened a little bit while ago. I feel like it's like like before like every time he would stream like we would all know like, even if you were in day we would all know what was going on. But I feel like now it's like yeah. Every once in a while I was like oh okay so he did that Cinderella thing but like if but like he had he it's probably been like a couple a of weeks and he done. Yeah, the Cinderella thing was probably like two or three weeks ago. I feel like like two oh, weeks yeah, ago. Oh yeah, I was seeing shit like it just happened like yesterday. Because his most, of, I think his most, not most, most recent, but the most recent thing I saw him do was um, uh, I, like, he was like I don't know, he was like doing some dancing stuff and stuff like, but like, he was doing some other thing like that. I saw that princess same thing too. He was talking to all like the princesses and stuff like that. But that yeah. was like a little bit while ago. I feel like. Yeah, like I, I don't know. I thought that shit was like very recent. It was like within a month, but like it's not like it happened like last week or anything. I feel like that's some tripping. Yeah, I do want to say that that month long subathon, whatever, that's gonna get him back. I feel like. Yeah, well, I feel like too. He must definitely. They're, they're already talking about oh, he's, gonna, he's gonna surpass Ludwig and all all the other stuff. So how long did Ludwig see? stream for that time? Uh, God knows. No I think clue. it was wasn't it a month too. I think it was like a month. I, think I had so. no idea, but like. The way Ludwig did it, I don't know if Kai's going to do it this way because I don't watch Kai like that, but I know Ludwig kind of just, just lived life with stream stopping in the background. So it's like if I were to just cut on stream and then go to work and then just kind of just <laughs> sitting there for eight really? hours and not come back. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he like, of course, he took it out when he went to like to eat and stuff, but he still went to sleep and uh, had days where he needed to decompress and not talk to the camera so like somebody else would come. And play a game. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't him nah. the whole time. Like it was like him switching out every other couple of days or whatever. Nah. At, at that point, at, at that point, I don't think you can call it like a sub. I'm saying. Or you're just nah, have got like a million subs. So that's what I'm saying. Like, let's be real, y'all. I know a lot of people were like, I know a lot of people don't like like hearing that, but like, bro, subathons are just like not begging for money, y'all. But like, I feel like I don't know. Like, it's just kind of crazy how like I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to like even. Go without like seems like I'm hating on people. Like I'm not trying to hate on nobody, but it feels so weird. Like today, it's like all hating today. Fuck it. Just leave, just leave the stream on. It's just getting them, people. People gonna keep subbing. Like cause they love Ludwig, and that you know that that's credit to them building like a very great fan base that supports them and loves them like that. But just leave your what shit on like that. What was he doing before that though? It's like even with like a. So somebody, I thought I heard somebody bring up the fact that like, you know, what was Andrew Tate before he was Andrew Tate? They're like, oh, you know, he was a the, the UFC fighter. Yeah. And they're like, nigga, name another UFC fighter. Like, <laughs> these niggas kind of just spawned out of nowhere. Like, what was Ludwig doing before that long subathon? Like, what type of content creator was he doing? I mean, to be fair, like, he was like, he was like Twitch's golden boy. Because I, I did see him. He was always with uh, Charlie, like, Moist Critical, always, like, hosting stuff on Twitch. And he was all like, so he was like, he was doing stuff. Like, before just, like, that he- subathon? Yeah, like he would be hosting like all their like game shows and stuff like that. I don't even know because Dante was on one of them, like and it was like a big thing because like they didn't have ever had a, a black person on there before. So yeah, so I do. Uh, he was doing stuff but, like he just, of course, he wasn't as probably as like mainstream as he is now after, yeah. until that whole subathon thing happened. It did really blow him up. I don't know, he just kind of I don't know. It's hate. I feel it's you. Hate. It's hate. He give me Homelander vibes. Though. Uh, it's hate. Who? Um, Ludwig. Ludwig? Yeah. Just like nah, the way, he, the way like, he be looking inside, like just go watch his video or something. <laughs> like not on his <laughs> streams, go watch a video. I'd be like, all right, guys, like just looking. I don't know. He give me Homelander vibes. 
<laughs> like there's just something deeper. But it's, it's I've been hearing that a lot. I've, I've been I've been hearing that like they think like the actual actor for him, like uh, Anthony huh? Starr, whatever his name is, the actor for oh, Homeland. Homeland they think, <laughs> yeah, they feel like he's actually like crazy. And no, I heard he like he, I heard people like the the people that act with him on like the show or whatever for uh. What's that show called? Not go to that show. Boys. Yeah, the boys. I heard like they said like, I don't know. This is like this is all I just hear. But I heard like they they found that they kind of scared of the nigga. I'm like, what is it? What is he doing on set, y'all? I gotta hear nah, that. I, shit. I've seen some videos where he he look menacing as hell. Like he looked at somebody. I was like, come on, get out of my way. <laughs> they did. <it. laughs> like, what? No, he's not, not, not a character. I said, I fully fully believe like some actors like they get into the role too much. The no, I were... mean, Will Smith talked about that in his book. He was playing a role. He was playing a Russian guy or something, and mm. Method acted too hard, and he couldn't stop being Russian after the movie. What? Yeah, he had to get like a, a hypnotist and a psychologist and a therapist to like snap uh, him out of that character. Is that, what, that is that what Austin Butler got in there with Elvis? He, he got the Elvis voice forever. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like you just like get so stuck in it that you think that you're the character. Like the That's mind crazy. is so fickle that niggas don't understand. Like your brain just believes whatever you want it to believe. So like you know that you know that one crazy movie I think the one that Takasta wants us to watch like the one that has like Daniel Radcliffe and that one the Star Wars dude when they're all like yelling those racial slurs and going mad crazy. What the fuck? What the, movie the, is that? Taco suggested that. The Black Klansman, right? The, the Black Klansman. No, the oh, Black, Black Klansman. Klansman. Yeah, yeah that's that's that was Black right Klansman. That's, that's, that's oh. Adam Driver, bro. Adam Driver. That's Adam Driver. Yeah. There's this is one movie with Daniel Radcliffe. He's like yelling something. He's like, he's like he's yeah, like I know what you're like, talking about, but I didn't know that yeah. was Black Klansman. Oh, I guess it's a different movie, but like, even for even like that's like, but uh, even for both and like both actors, like them being in those roles, you think like it kind of like even if they weren't racist or like you know like that before the after the movie, like ah, I got a little bit, of, a little, 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 you know, a little bit so stuck inside of me. Yeah, or just you still, you like, saw that that, uh, that Samuel L. interview where he was like, where Leo DiCaprio was like, I, I just don't want to say it in the word to you, I want to say it to you. Oh yeah. And then Samuel was like, No, whenever you come back here tomorrow, you better be him. And then Leo came and was set tomorrow and like belittled him. Like he was I acting do, like he was actually that. like back in the eighteen hundreds. Uh, that's a wild statement, dog. Nah, this is insane. He did. I, he, he said Leo walked on the stage and he was like, "Hey, what's up?" And then he just looked at him and said, "Yeah, my way, scum or some shit." Like he said, he was talking God. crazy to him. Nah, man. Y'all ever seen nah, that interview? Acting is insane. Acting I, I've, I've seen, insane. I've seen it, bro. It's just like nah. It's just wild to think back to. I never thought about that. That's like acting like like the brain and really because the brain is really an insane thing. Yeah, like the I mean, like the, that's crazy. That's why niggas say in order to get rich, you gotta have a rich mindset. Like that shit really, yeah. you really gotta believe that shit. Like how niggas get stuck inside character. Okay, I'm gonna play this character of never giving up until I make it. Now I'm I'm gonna be there. Um, I never thought about it like that's actually really cool. I never thought about it like that. Like that's what that's what I said before. Like. You can be whatever you want to fuck to be. Like that's I mean, actors prove that shit. They wanted to be Elvis, now that nigga Elvis for life. Nah, he was that shit was actually kinda of scary. He was on that stage like accepting that reward and he was like he was talking just like that nigga. And he yeah. was being dead serious. <laughs> because he thinks he's him. <laughs> oh wait. Bro. Nah, bro, apparently it's like nah he, he like they kinda of pressed him on. I think I saw this interview and then he was like, Oh well, I I, I just I just talk like this, like yeah. That movie what? was filmed like four years ago. Uh, no way. <laughs> like what? Stuck. I you screw. No way. I never knew that. That's such a cool, like, interesting concept. If you could, be, so you, really in reality, you could be nah, like, bro. I'm like, I'm, 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 nah, I'm, already, I'm already rich. I'm already like, rich. The way Will I talked still, about it, and Will said, <laughs> Will said, like, remember, like, somebody had to snap him into it. I still remember his ass on Disney Channel. Like, his voice was squeaky as fuck. Yes. Yeah, not anymore. Nah, that's kind of insane. Will was uh, like, uh, so like he was like, he was kind of like debating whether he should be a method actor or not. One of the other actors are like, "Hey, bro, if you start this, it's gonna be a lifestyle. You can't quit." But and then he said he wanted to be the best actor ever, so he went into method acting, and then became that character. And he said like, oh, he would go home, forever. and his wife would be like, "Who are you?" And he'd be like, "I'm me." He'd like, still as the characters, <laughs> like he actually <laughs> thought he was him. Bro, no, didn't you crazy. see that? You didn't you see that thing? Um, it was like um Jared Leto when he was doing Joker for like Suicide Squad. He sent like a dead animal to like Margot Robbie. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was gonna bring that up too. I know like all the people that like everyone that's played the Joker over the years, or even like the guy that played um 
Moon Knight. Haven't they? Weren't they all going crazy to get to those roles? Yeah. Yeah, you got to tap into something. The only one that didn't what? is uh, Joaquin Phoenix, but we don't know. No, but he's insane he's too. He's even acting in a movie. The movie was going crazy. That's now. What I'm he saying. He's been... not. He hasn't had any controversy in real life. Like he still kind of uh, acts. Uh, but I think, like, I think they kind of realize if you're playing that character, you have to go through a lot of therapy after you get some film. Yeah. Like a, the a therapist fuck? is to sit you down and convince you that you don't actually want to do these things. Y'all looking forward to that Joker sequel though? That me sequel? Absolutely. I, she was fine. I didn't. Even, I didn't watch the first one. I don't watch a lot of movies, y'all. What? Yeah, what I know it's go to it. I know it's go to this shit though. But I heard the second one's gonna be like a, a fucking musical or some shit. Y'all still looking yeah, forward it to is. it? Hell yeah. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, oh, Wicked oh, is a musical. Yeah. What's Wicked? Uh, what it's about? Uh, it's about it's like an origin story for the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, I might have watched it actually. I think I know what you're no talking way. about. No way. Nah, just just we gotta put you on to more movies, dog. I'm like, telling y'all, bro. I'm just I'm just an anime dude. I don't even really watch movies like that. I have oh, been watching yeah. a lot more movies recently though. I've been getting back into it. I uh, will say though. Was, yeah. No, nah, I will say though, because like speaking about DC, because I, I saw like I don't I, I don't give a fuck about DC, but I did see James Gunn like really he released some new shit about like, what they you know because he's taking over for DC and, and the spoiler is Matt Wavier supposedly he's like bringing back a new Batman with like Robin or some shit I don't know. He fucking that franchise up. I think he's a mean? sleeper agent. What what does that what? mean? I think Marvel oh, still Marvel? works for Marvel for Guardians of the Galaxy. I think they sent him over there and was like fuck their every fuck everything up. Because they fired everybody except Ezra Miller. I mean, to be fair, um, no, because his, his last movie with them is with the, the last Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah. So, no, but there's another one coming out. That's, no, that's, the next one's the last one. Yeah, until the fourth one is confirmed. They can't there's conform no fourth, a fourth uh, one before the third one. We no thought there wasn't going to be a fourth nah, Captain no, America, too. There's no fourth, there's no fourth Guardians, dog. Yeah, right? That's what I heard. Until it's yeah, confirmed, they're like, all dying, like, they can bro. just they're put another dying. one on there. It's not that. Hard. Oh, that's oh, that's what you mean. That's what you. Are mean. they all dying, though? I mean, dying. I mean that was that was. I wouldn't be surprised though if they sent them overseas because they could have been like, okay, we're gonna give you this one last movie, right? Give you a lot of money. You've already built your, you know, your repertoire with superhero movies. Go over there. And just fuck do, you up know? everything. Do it. Just do. Go crazy. Fire everybody. Keep Wait, Andrew Miller. Go crazy. Didn't James Gunn do the new Suicide Squad, the one that just came out like two years ago? Yeah, no. the newer one, yeah. That one was actually pretty good, though. That was like yeah, that, that was, that DC was Guardians. Good. DC yeah. Guardians. It was actually uh, good honestly, though. yeah. Damn, that's a good way to think about it. Cause it's the same movie. That's why it was good, because it's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's got a ragtag group uh, of niggas that all have a goal. Nah, I don't. I don't really fuck with. I've, I've, I've never really fuck with Guardians like that. It's like all right. Let's take the. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen the second one. Yeah. No, I have seen the second one. But I like. I like Guardians. I don't even fuck with Ant Man. That's like my thing. I don't I, fuck I with Ant Man. I didn't Ant-Man. fuck with Suicide Squad like that. I, I don't think we any of any of us fuck with DC like that. To be fair, like no, I want to see a new Shazam movie. The first one was good. I heard the second one looks mad ass though. I don't, I don't know, think but that apparently. Peace, like apparently uh, the what's that show called Peacekeeper? I think uh, John Cena. Peace Corps. John Cena. I, I heard that shit's fire. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that too. But I heard like they canceled it or some shit. Like every like DC was been <laughs> they fired everybody. I told you they fired Dwayne Johnson. I don't know. I'm saying like how they had all these goats like in their franchise and they just kept on like just dropping the ball over really and over. How really fuck with Dwayne Johnson still? He cool. That's he a cool dude. I would not like his acting. That's how he just <laughs> That's not hate, bro. Start exactly. it, bro. Bro, hey, why? Bro, why, why do you hate him? Acting, I ain't gonna hold you yeah, Dwayne Johnson. I bro, I, don't, has I never said I hate bad. him, dog. You said y'all still like Dwayne Johnson? Yeah, I never said you don't hate. like him. I mean, I just don't like his acting. That's what I meant. He, 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 that means you don't like him because he just beats him <laughs> in every movie he plays in. <laughs> oh, if the shoe fits, you know? What? That's hate. That's hate. <laughs> that is bro. Hate. Bro, that's what you that's just said, hate I, I, bro I, I, <laughs> like at the same way niggas just say dick ride everything i'm just gonna start calling it out at this point it's hate what bro because the the rock is known for him just playing himself he's like kevin hart they just play themselves so if you go i don't like his acting the you rock just don't like him perfect no way like, he genuinely has not done any <laughs> what, what has he done what <laughs> Bro, he he be in Hawaii like and uh, be fighting for the rights. He be like protesting with. He be doing. Oh, the, he be doing everything. You know, you know your yeah. slate is perfect when the only thing they say about him is that he's dating a white woman. 
or is married to a white woman. I have yeah, never heard about that. I have seen they so bring it up all the time. I haven't heard about that either. So his play is really clean because they love they love pulling that card out. Yeah, they love if I look her up, out. I know she's nah. yeah, yeah, she's Bro, white. He's, yeah, is that exactly the same? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known okay, that you know? if I didn't hear about that because nobody hears about his wife. I promise that's like the only thing they do with the black man. Like when the black man's play is so clear, like they haven't done anything. That's the first thing they do. Even when them and J Cole came out, like, they were like, "Oh, J Cole's mixed. What? Who knew? What? What happened? Why? Why is he mixed?" Like, bro, what I the? Mean, I thought everybody knew that. I, I but honestly, was, I didn't was. know that. But like, it didn't surprise me. I wasn't like, "Oh my god!" But people on this, people online, like, "Oh my, I can't believe he's mixed." Like, like, well, he can't speak on black issues now because he's mixed. Like, what? This is crazy talk. Wait, J Cole's mixed? I didn't even know that. That's why I didn't know that either. Honestly, it looks mixed. You didn't know that for real? Nah, I thought, I thought he was just black. What? I mean, he I mean, says that black, in obviously. like all songs. Not like not like now no on some fucking logic shit. I didn't. I, no, I, I mean, don't know he's what's just, he's always talked about how his mom was white. I never knew that. Honestly, I'm pretty sure he wasn't yeah. hiding her or nothing. I just genuinely probably was not. I don't. I, don't, music I, don't, I guess y'all aren't really Lord. fans like that. But yeah, he, on a lot of nah, songs, bro. he says that his mom is white. Oh wow! I know. That. I don't know how I feel about that. He but... says no one get off my dick because he said his his white grandmother was R worded by a black slave or something like that. The other way around or something like that. I, don't, I forgot what he said. Some along the lines of that. Wait, Taco, yeah. wait, you, Taco, why'd you slip in? Like, you know, you don't know how you feel about that. What do you mean? What are you talking about? That's it, bro. No, nah, I, I need that's... someone to like. I need someone to like really like go through these episodes and just like no, no, everything no, Taco no, has no, said. No, no. And what even it was not even it's just nothing even it just be stuff like he just be slipping in and and like I always be hearing it but like Apollo doesn't or it's like vice versa Apollo will say some shit Taco doesn't hear it no no man or can I say something and Apollo hears it but Taco doesn't it's always like one of us saying some stupid shit I gotta I gotta get to your compilation I got to no bleeps either they gonna start pulling up everything yeah never mind about that y'all. What, what, why'd you stop? What happened? What's going on? Follow. <laughs> they get. The, they probably, they probably got his ass. I, I just had a heart attack. Oh. What? what? Yeah, I just oh, had a heart attack. Look at him saying this. I, I, I left flash from my eyes. I had to delete the fuck out that. Oh, what are you, the are fuck? You are, you, are you serious? Yeah, yeah I almost, I almost, it was almost over for me. The Holy ball. shit. We got a pop, man. I was, I was looking. I just <laughs> looked at my phone for a quick second. Uh-huh. And, like, look at this girl's story. Uh-huh. Like, I huh? tried to slide off, but I hit the little emoticon that had a heart eyes on it, and it sent. Nah. Because if you click it, it sends automatically, so I had to go and delete it real fast. That's in my nah, fault. Nah, man. What? Don't, don't tell us, bro. Nah, man. That's what I'm saying. Why are you telling us? That was, was an accident. I guess, but, like, you know... What do you mean? You, you just air that out I don't know. World. You tell you me. You tell me. Like, it was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole world. I would have been, like, been like, yeah, just hard ideas and shit, but fuck it. Yeah, you believe him? I know. It's not up for me to believe. You know, it's I, a hate. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for him. I'm praying for him. How's that hate? Your, bro, pray, you're praying for your Y'all know my girl. Oh, I haven't treated oh her wrong God. inside here anyway. That's true, that's true, that's true. It'd be one thing we yeah, anyway. Probably... She'd go immediately and to here, the sadness and here. Wait, in the here. And nah. here. Yeah, I mean, because y'all don't know us here. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. But when, when y'all move over to Texas, it's going to be a different story. Yes, sir. I can't wait New York, New York. Oh, I, no. I, um, on DreamCon this in Austin or whatever, I texted my, my sisters because I have like seven of them in Texas. I, was, I asked the three older ones. I was like, hey, y'all close to Austin? I didn't know they lived there. They're like, yeah, we, all, we have an apartment here. Uh, we all live together. I like, what the B&B, fuck? B and B. No. So you, you so you, uh, you, so you, you finna go like room with them basically? Are you? You mean like you want to nah, move nah, over I'm there? Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a day earlier. I'm gonna uh, get there okay. a day earlier than I would. I usually get there uh, on like Thursday and then leave Sunday. I'll probably go Wednesday and probably spend two days with them and then go to Dream. Oh, not trying to open uh, okay. the B and B. No way. No. No, fuck I mean Jess said he's going with this girl, and then Jeezy is a kid. So I'll probably Jeezy, I don't know if Jeezy going. That nigga's I don't know what going. That nigga's spiraling. <laughs> like spiraling upward? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> nah, but um yeah, I'm I'm for sure <laughs> I'm for sure going with my I'm for sure going I <laughs> go with my, with my girl. I go with my girl. I think Mikey oh, like Mikey shit. is rooming with Lakito. No, what what do you mean by Jeezy? I say he's smiling upward. 
Did you say he's spiraling <laughs> laugh, first? Man. And I said upward, and you said sure. I, laugh, man. I agree. You just started laugh. laughing, though. You said sure and started laughing. <laughs> It's hate. It's hate. I'm hating. Yeah, it's hate. hate. It's hate. I, it's hate. Yeah, I can't. Jeezy, bro. I'm, my bad, bro. I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> that was hate. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, bro. I don't, bro, yeah, but it should be not. But there's a lot of people coming down, though. So it's going to be, it's gonna be a, oh, like, yeah, this yeah, might be, be fire. The, this will be the best drink I ever talk about. You got to go, bro. I ain't gonna let you take a shopping. You gotta go just on somewhere with this, bro. California, That's what I'm Texas. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just got back. Why only Atlanta? That's what I'm saying. And Taco, we we had to spend money to come see you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's I a know, good. I know. That's a good move. That's a good move. I didn't even think about that one. No, 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 no. Pause, pause, pause. Gonna, no, no, on, no, no, fuck on, that pause. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> God, no, no, no. Are you forgetting, bro? Are you forgetting that I, w- I, I went to I went to ATL already before you? Okay, okay, so that's to, me. I what about Jez? You. I want to go see you. Get to come see me down in Texas. You gotta come. Yeah, it's me. But what about Jez? Texas. And you, yeah, you try to you try to spend more money to come back down here again. I'd rather go to the Antarctica. <laughs> What this nigga Taco hates me, y'all. It's, 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 it's set in stone now because there's no reason why he doesn't come visit all of us in Texas. Oh. We're all gonna be here. There's no reason he doesn't oh, come. Oh, it's Texas, bro. We want no, to. What does that mean? It's, it's hate. And it's the same. And it's the same thing too. Because we went to your city and we went to a con. You had to come to our city and come to a con too. It's the same verbatim. Bro. You're just, you don't like us. I got a I got a Uno reverse card uh, in my hand. Nah, he's nigga hate me, like y'all. You. Bro, I've nah, been conditioned nah. by SpongeBob to hate Texas, bro. This nigga making like, every oh. nigga hates me, y'all. Uh, no way. He wants to go to see Texas, uh, see Atlanta bro. twice. Taco, I feel like years. I feel like if you went to Texas, you kind of might like it more than Atlanta. Facts. Actually, no. I've never been to Austin, so I don't know. Now nah, Austin, Matt Wavy. Everyone's moving here. I believe he's moving again. I didn't know he was even moving. He's moving out the house already. I think he's moving over here. When did you say that? And this this uh, one of his most recent videos. He was like, "This is my last month in the house." But you live but, in Austin. No, I live like two hours out though. That's close. Uh, you live in Corpus Christi? Hell nah. But things I'm I'm playing. I low key. I'm thinking about may, making a move over there. Honestly, in, in a couple of years, because that seems uh, like that's to Austin. Yes, What's sir. Up, yeah, I want to. I'm moving to Austin. House. I want to move to Austin soon. It's like Houston wavy, but like I've been living in Houston my whole life. I feel like I, I kind of want to just Houston, bran- branch out. Houston. Houston, no, Houston, Mount Wavy. Houston, Mount Wavy. I would I, say that, no, but. I don't like that. You see, the, no, I think it was Dallas I didn't like. Dallas, no, is, Dallas, Dallas is mad. That's what they tried to like. Uh, yeah, Dallas, San Antonio. You no, know, they're not a part of that shit. It's the San Antonio, Houston, Austin, Mount Wavy. Yeah, that's really what it is for real. Dallas not terrible, but like, they like fifth in the state. No, Houston Dallas probably number like one. New Jersey. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Uh, there's nothing. There's not even the fuck I That's why they moved. That's why they moved uh, DreamCon down here in Austin. I, I, I have a better. I have a better solution. You know how about this New no, York? Talk, talk all, no, talk. New York again? York. What? Dude, let's I'm not go. debating with you. I'm not debating. That is, yeah, this since the brought New that York up, too. Hell no. Nah. That, that is a perfect explanation of why you have to come down. Because we all we all went to go. All of us went to come and see you. All of us went to come and see you. There's no excuse. You have to and come down. And it wasn't and see for us. me, bro. It was for the con. It was for the con. Man, I just fuck that damn con. We wanted to come and see you. Fuck that damn con. Oh, the wait, did not man. fucking matter. That's, we only went there said, one day. That's what I'm saying. I thought you went there both days. Hell no. no. You, and you and you were there. You were there with us both days, or whatever, whatever we went. That's, I don't remember. Wait, we went both days. You, no, no, I'm just saying. Like, we yeah, because one day we went to the meetup. No, yeah. bro, I got. Remember, I, I I got drunk at the meetup, bro. I, I don't remember, man. Taco, you're such an op. Like so genuinely, you're, you're a hater. And they got the they got the good. You're what? What'd you say? Huh? You're a hater. Oh, they got oh, the good yeah. alcohol in Texas. They got worms in their shit. <laughs> what are you? Oh, bro, I, I be ha- I got worms. In- well, I don't know what's next, but I got worms. Got I got moonshine. The, the got that worms. moonshine. Got that moonshine. I'm gonna have you like I don't worms? know on the George moon. Lopez? George Lopez. Bro, just come to Texas. There's just no reason why you don't come to Texas this year. I ain't gonna hold you. And they take they're bro. still dropping tickets next month. I think yeah, Jazz got the full counter with that. He came to see you. Yes, bro. No what you do, he can bro, just reflect it. When, when, when is when is Dream Con? When is it? When is it? Bro, in July. July. At the end of July. We still got ample time and everything. And the thing and the thing is too, Taco, I slept in fucking three 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 house in New Jersey <laughs> for you. I, I was bro, bro, we were sleeping with is, the fishes. Oh hold on, hold on. where's Dream Clown gonna take place? In Austin, in Austin. man. 
Man, I'm wavy. Uh, Mad food around. I got I got places to show y'all. I gotta make y'all try Waterburger and everything. Mad wavy. Oh, uh, Waterburger sounds wavy. Yeah, Thank you. Like, I'll do it the, for the Waterburger. I mean, Paulo's like basically home away from home type shit. So him coming back to the state don't matter. But like everybody else is the first time coming. I mean, the thing is, Mikey and Lakita moving out here too in July first. So we're like literally all living here uh, now. You're, you come visiting all of us, bro. This is three hundred dollars, bro. That's nothing. I'm the, that's bro, crazy. you we, can just save up a hundred. Bro, that's July is what seven months away. Just nah, save bro, fifty dollars a check. I, it's three hundred if I buy it now, bro. When I when when I get the money for it, that shit gonna be. Oh, bro! I promise. Nothing's, nothing's going on in Austin ever. At all, flying to Texas is not that expensive, bro. I They're not gonna you. raise the prices for DreamCon. Not at all. Not a fucking all. Uh, and, the, and the thing is, bro. The thing is, bro. Is like. This is gonna be mad wavy. It's gonna be worth it, my, my, bro. We all flew, bro. Lakito spent like seven hundred on tickets. There's no excuse. He spent he spent seven hundred to come in. Oh, he's rich. Class. He's rich. He's not rich at all. He just live in Cali. They just I'm mad. Like I don't know. Mad Wait, he works out at a there. bank. He definitely got some money. <laughs> uh, I, I used to know what the backstory of that joke is. Cause why do keep saying bank? Yeah, why is the backstory of that joke? That's the secret. No, there's no okay, backstory yeah. to it. This is where he works, right? He works at a Starbucks. Oh. What? What'd you get a bank from? <laughs> One time on stream, he said, I just got home from the bank, and he said it like four days in a row. So I was like, well, you uh, work there uh, or something? And he must have said yes to somebody else because he said yes. <laughs> so I was like, One day I was like, how's your job at the bank? And he said, good. And then I kept what? saying it over and over, and he was like, why do you keep asking me that? I was like, nigga, what? Because you were answering it. <laughs> and he, said, oh. I was, he said, I was just confused. So I was like, what the fuck? Why did you answer the question? <laughs> That's crazy. All I know is, like, Taco got to come down. Everyone's moving out here. It's going to be mad wavy. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you. You, you you can you can feel you can come and see how Austin is see if you like it Taco it's what? way cheap it's way cheaper than New York first of all New York is like fucking you're spending like Man. twenty yeah, New twenty thousand dollars sell your soul to get on spirit no problem that's what I'm saying like bro that's a skill issue skill issue bro I think you, you. You, you can come you can come live out here for a year with all the homies and actually have in real life homies it, you know it's crazy how it is it's like oh, I met people way. through this community that are moving to Texas to come live next to near me I said no this shit's all crazy and shit for real because it ain't no way ain't really. no way. What? Can't relate, Taco. We came That's to see crazy. you across the. We oh, came yeah. from. We came you know, you know, it's, you know it's insane. Days. You know it's insane. If there was a three hundred dollar ticket to Germany right now, Taco would for sure fly to go see Pan. Easily, yeah, easily, he would easily go see Pan. Easy, so yeah, that's not no fucking excuse. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know you would t Taco, Taco. Somebody gave you a three hundred dollar ticket and said go to Germany or Texas. Which one are you choosing? Germany, 100%. That's crazy. Nah, that's uh, fair, he though, said 100% oh, is insane. Germany, bro. That's fair, that's fair though. Cause I, I, I'll, I'll, take it, I'll take it to go see Pan. I want to go see Pan. And that's actually, that's fair. That's fair yeah, that's but you've fair. already well, met Taco. Oh. Uh, I mean, you've already you you've mean? already been to whatever the fuck. Like, he, he, it's either he goes to see you or goes to see Pan. Damn. Taco, you just hate I, my I, ass. I've already, I've already met Jez. I've already met you. Nah, Jez, no. Come to the come to the home stage. We came to your yeah, home I mean, it's, it's like a he blue. came to see you thing, though. So it'd be like just reciprocating. Exactly. Nah. Uh, what? what? You said nah so fast, too. Like, you didn't even hesitate on what that if, shit. What if, what if Pan lived in, like, Montana? Which one would you choose then? Oh, go to Montana, bro. Yes. So you just want to go see Pan. Yo, <laughs> it's not, it, about, it's not about who it is. About who, what the fuck? Nah, you, you just hate my ass. That's all crazy. crazy. You said Montana. Montana is bro, so we can fucking live in Ohio, ass. bro. I'll go to Ohio if you're paying this Ohio, man. Oh, my God. Uh, so you just don't want to see Jay. That's what it is. Ohio is closed. Ohio is closed. Like That's what it is. That's bro, you really said Montana, is. bro. That's like the children of the corn state. That's not what it being closed because you flew down to Atlanta. Like, what the fuck? He said whatever. Taco is such an op. I want I want everyone to be like see that this is a, any future episode where we're beefing and like oh the, no Jazz is no I don't do anything oh, I just get disrespected on this fucking as I believe in the sun seeker. I don't know shit pissing me Whoa. off. A little bit. <laughs> what does sun seekers got to do with it? It's, it's, it's That's something about, completely like, different. I made the logo for that shit, man. Like I don't we don't know. have a logo for it. What? <laughs> That's for the radio station. It's just pissing yes, me off sir. a little bit, man. Oh nah. my fucking god! What? Wait, that's so disrespectful. Like, uh, what the Montana over? 
Nah. Man, end the pot. End the pot. That, that shit pissing me off, bro. That shit pissing me off a little bit. Yo, this Fuck. has been Taco. Yeah. This Why is he ending dead? the pot? I'll probably, you end the pot, man. No. <laughs> Apollo, end the pot. I can't. What the fuck? Y'all have to y'all have to collab and duet. Nah, uh, hell no. Nah. Three, two, one. This Don't talk to me. No, no. no. He said I'll no. go to Ohio <laughs> to go see this. Is, this is insane. insane bro. No, this is it's actually insane. Like as big of a mean the Ohio is right now is crazy. I flew, I flew to New York with I flew to New York with like no no money in my pocket too. I had like a thousand I was like I was I couldn't pay for food out there. I was suffering out there in that fucking hotel. We were we were bathing with roaches in New Jersey to come see this nigga. Yeah, it's it's we yeah, almost bro. died for you, Close Taco. Out, bro. Close out, man. We almost got hit by 35 cars for you. Yo, some damn Taco body wash. Apollo, here in the podcast, y'all we to door dash water. Like, y'all don't understand this shit. This shit crazy for real. <laughs> what? Yes. Nah. You're yes. Lying, dog. This is insane. Like, no, he has, there's, a, there's a receipt. Like, there's bro, no Apollo, lies. Man. Close this out, man. Fuck no. We got to keep talking about a little bit more. This. I don't know. All right, so, no. but I'll go Texas. Yeah, let's go. No, I need I need you to buy the ticket tomorrow. I need you to buy a ticket tomorrow. I got you, I got you, I got you. No, bro, I need you to come for real. Like you gotta promise me you're gonna come hey, and see uh, me I in Texas. I'll, I'll do it. Bro, if you don't come if I don't, if I don't see you in July, bro, I don't know. I might have to be off the pod forever. Real I shit. Bet. Uh, Sounds good. I'll be there. Shake on it, shake on it, shake on it, uh, shake on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. I want everyone to clip this right here. If I, if I don't see him at DreamCon in person, it's, it's over. I don't know. I might leave Sunseekers, okay. everything. I got shoot. It's okay. It's, it's, it's going to be here and. Why is Sunseek? Taco's not a Sunseeker. <laughs> It's gonna be here and here and. It's just hate towards me. You made the logo for the thing, Apollo. What you don't understand? It's a radio Apollo, station. Sunseek is not a radio Apollo, station. Apollo, out, man. Oh my god, Taco, end the end the fuck ass pod, man. All right, this has been Taco, Apollo, and bitch. Uh, oh my, that. that's crazy! <laughs> like, nah, this is insane. Hey, this has been <laughs> Jazz been talking about Apollo. I'll see y'all next week. I'll see y'all next week. That's crazy. I'm not coming next week. I'm not.